everyone, I'm Annie and this is Fuili. We will be your host for the live chat today. Our topic today is on digestive health featuring probiotics. As always, we have some free gifts for you at, uh, for you at the Q&A session at the end. And we have a guest with us, a nutritionist, who will be sharing her views on digestive health. Fuili, we have to agree that Malaysian is known as food heaven and we eat so many meals a day as there are so many delicious food like nasi lemak, CKT, laksa, etc, etc without really thinking too much about what is happening to our, uh, to our food after we have eaten it. Yes, I mean, there is so many delicious foods to choose from. Yes. But actually, our bodies are actually amazing. Mm -hmm. It has a very clever system that breaks down the food we eat into smaller parts for the cells in our body to absorb and turn into nutrients for energy, growth and repair. It also creates ways to be removed. Our digestive system from entry to exit is basically one long tube called the gastrointestinal tract or more commonly known as the gut. So what do we mean by digestive health? Having good digestive health basically means that food is being properly broken down and absorbed. Malaysia has been reporting an alarming increase of health complications stemming from poor eating habits such as binge eating, consuming oily and fatty foods, eating late at night which has become a great cause for concern that can contribute to poor digestive health. Yes, with Chinese New Year coming up, there yeah. will be a lot of eating, yes. especially yeah, yeah. foods high in sugar, fat and salt. Digestive issues such as constipation, diarrhea, bloating and wind are quite common in the general population but can be even more frequent for those who have unhealthy eating habits. Yep. Do you know that there are actually 100 trillion microorganisms that actually live in our intestines? Wow, that is a lot. By microorganisms, we mean in simple terms bacteria. Yep. A balanced ratio of good and bad bacteria present in the GI tract is important for good digestive health. Mm -hmm. When there is an imbalance of good bacteria and bad bacteria, this can affect its health. The ideal balance ratio of 85% good bacteria to 15% bad bacteria in your stomach is needed to keep the imbalance of microflora away. Yep. So it's actually really important to keep or maintain a balanced ratio of the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. So as the imbalance of this bacteria can lead to a lot of problems. So an unhealthy digestive tract due to an imbalance of microflora, bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract or digestive tract leads to a host of problems. So these include gastrointestinal issues like we mentioned earlier, diarrhea, constipation, bloating, flatulence, IBS, which stands for irritable bowel syndrome, which has all the symptoms mentioned earlier. So if unhealthy, our digestive system functions similarly to being caught in a traffic, meaning stuck. So hi, if you have just tuned in, I'm Annie and this is Fuili. We're talking about digestive health featuring probiotics today. Stay tuned till the end for some free gift if you can answer a simple question at the end. Right, Annie, you just mentioned that our digestive tract can become stuck by traffic jam. So how do we balance the microflora in our digestive system to keep it moving like smooth traffic? Okay, to answer your question, how do we balance the microflora in our digestive system to keep it moving like smooth traffic, like we really mentioned earlier? So we actually have to boost the number of good bacteria in our bodies with probiotics or we call it the healthy bacteria so that's the way to go to ensure a smooth journey ahead so now let's welcome the nutritionist from BioLife to share with us more about probiotics hi Amy. Hi, hi, Amy. hi everyone so thank you Guardian for inviting me for this sharing Harry, so please tell us more about probiotics. Okay, sure. Probiotic is just functioning like a superhero, which is actually safeguard the condition of our gut. It's just like how you want the road to be yes. as you drive every day. Yeah. So a good bacteria is just like a law-abiding mm -hmm. driver, which actually yeast the transport. It move, make your gut work smoothly as it will be protecting the gut. So nowadays, the most widely used and also accepted definition for probiotic would be live microorganism 
which when consumed in an adequate amount can confer a health benefit to the host, which proposed by a joint organization of WHO and FAO. Interesting. So the key word here is actually live microorganism. So how do we ensure or how do we choose uh, products with live probiotics? Okay. So by referring back to the definition, there will be three main criteria that we should look into when choosing any probiotic product. First, the live microorganism with a correct storage method. Second, consuming back an adequate amount with the correct CFU. Third, health benefit which are clinically proven as well as also strain specific. Karen, for the benefits of our viewers, what is the meaning of CFU? Okay, sure. So for probiotic, we'll be measuring it in colony forming unit which is CFU. So is it true that the higher the CFU, the better the probiotics? Okay, in fact, not really. CFU does not mean the efficacy as different probiotics will be needed in different amount as it will, as it will be functioning at different level. That's why a higher CFU does not necessarily mean a better efficacy for a probiotic product. Please elaborate more on the correct storage conditions for probiotics. Okay. Many probiotic bacteria will be naturally sensitive towards heat and moisture. The heat will be killing off the microorganism, which is the bacteria, as well the moisture would be actually activating the bacteria within the pill which only will die due to lack of nutrient and improper environment. Mm -hmm. So, that's why it's very important for us to maintain a correct storage method by keeping a probiotic in the temperature. Correct amount is actually having a substantial impact towards the bacteria's survival. So, for example, keeping the probiotic bacteria in the refrigerator can actually prolong the breathability and slow down the maturation. So having a temperature in the refrigerator like 3 to 4 degrees Celsius can actually increase the probiotic survival, especially for lactobacillus as well as bifidobacteria. bacteria. So not only storage conditions, but delivery conditions as well. So that's why actually cold chain is so important. So hi, if you have just tuned in, I'm Annie and this is Fui Lee. We are talking about digestive health featuring probiotics today. And we have a special guest, Carrie, who is a nutritionist. Stay tuned to the end for some free gifts if you can answer a simple question at the end. Alright, so far in the show, we have established that probiotics need to be live microorganisms, storage conditions are important, and that a higher CFU does not necessarily mean a better probiotic. Mm -hmm. So the next question we have is, are all probiotic species and strains the same? Okay. So, more bacteria species in a product does not necessarily mean that it will be more effective. So, for example, many probiotic products will be labeling containing lactobacillus acidophilus, that not specifying whether it is actually lactobacillus acidophilus and CFM. So, the difference between species and strain in live example is just like the difference between a state and a district. So, with having a species specific, strain specific, it will be having different characteristics. That's why it's very important for us to know until the strain level so that we will be only knowing whether it will be conferring the health benefit that we hope to gain. So how can we choose a suitable probiotic product specific for our digestive health? Okay, so very important for you to choose a probiotic with the strain bacteria that in a correct amount that targeted to support your digestive health. For example, you could choose to consume wildlife at once multi blend Malaf at once multi blend consists of 5 billion CFU per capsule. It contains the lactobacillus acidophilus and CFM, which is a most study research bacteria strain, suitable for vegetarian, survive through the journey as a gastrointestinal tract, and last but not least, safe for long term consumption. As this product has been in the market for more than 10 years, so far, no side effect reported. That's good, yeah. So, Karis, tell us more about the benefits of probiotics to our health. Okay, sure. Besides taking care of our immune system, it also taking care of our gut system by improving back the nutrient absorption and as well relieve the digestive problem like bloating, constipation, diarrhea and abdominal pain. Well, thank you so much for all the good information on probiotics and the benefits it has on digestive health. 
Annie, do you have any other tips for our viewers to maintain good digestive health? Yep. So actually, well, for starters, drink plenty of water. This is not only good for the digestion, but also help with clear skin as well. Needless to say, a healthy diet can never go wrong, right? <laughs> so make sure you're getting enough fiber. Fiber-rich foods such as um, fruits, vegetables, whole grain breads and cereals, nuts and seeds, pulses like uh, lentils, chickpeas, and kidney beans, and also baked beans. So those are rich in fiber. Yes, and one very important factor we haven't mentioned yet is of course exercise. Correct. Yes. The recommended duration is 30 minutes, 5 times a week, or walk at least 10,000 steps per day. Not just for the benefit of our digestive health, but also for our overall health and well-being. And of course, we have to top up our daily diet with good bacteria. Yep. So we've come to the end of the talk. Um, if you can answer this question correctly and leave your answers in the comment box below, you stand a chance to win one of these four. Yep. So 10 lucky winners will be chosen uh, yeah, as winners. So the question is, name a health benefit of probiotics. I'll repeat the question again. Name a health benefit of probiotics. As a disclaimer, the information provided in this live chat is not meant to replace medical diagnosis and viewers are advised to seek medical guidance where necessary. Before we sign off, big thank you to our guest Carrie for coming on the show. To our viewers, comment down below and do let us know what other topics you would like to hear from us. Until then, eat healthy, stay healthy and happy. Head to Guardian stores for all your healthy choices. And for those celebrating Chinese New Year, Happy Chinese New Year Thanks. to everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.